Hi, I'm Terry and I'm nuts about stamping. I'm back today with another Sundays with Sizzix project. I'm going to make a hello greeting card using my Big Shot and my Banners framelits. The card base is going to be Whisper White and I've cut it eight and a half by five and a half and I'm going to create a crease at the four and a quarter mark and that's going to be the front of my card. Next thing I'm going to do is use up some of my Watercolor Wonder Designer Series paper. I don't know if you've been following me on my blog and my Facebook business page recently, but my goal is to use up all of my Designer Series paper and embellishments that are going to retire, so then I can justify buying new ones from the new annual catalog when it goes live next month. So I'm going to take this piece of Watercolor Wonder and I'm going to adhere it to the front of my card. Like so. And then I have a strip that is left of Whisper White and I'm going to bring in a corresponding strip of designer series paper that's complementary to the first strip or piece that I used but not the same piece. So I want to add just a little bit of interest to my card front. Let's bring this in so you can see what I'm doing. I added some snail adhesive to it and now I'm going to adhere it to my card, overlapping the first piece ever so slightly and coming up to the crease of my card like so. So it adds a really nice colorful front and uses up a couple of scraps of my designer series paper. Now the next thing I'm going to do is bring in some scrap whisper white paper and my 4U stamp set. I just love this stamp set and I'm going to use the hello phrase on the front of my card. I'm going to stamp it up, ink it up with Tangerine Tango. I have clear block B. I'm going to ink it up, stamp it down. There you go, you can see it there. And then I'm going to use the second smallest banner framelit to die cut that phrase out. And to do so, I'm going to use my Big Shot and my magnetic platform. I've got a bottom standard cutting pad. I'm going to put my phrase on with the banner around it. And then a top standard cutting pad. Hold it together. Run it through. And that'll die cut out the phrase. like so. Now, I'm not quite done yet because I'd like to create a layer for underneath the hello phrase. So I have a scrap piece of Daffodil Delight cardstock, which is one of the colors in the designer series paper. Again, I'm going to use up all my scraps, although Daffodil Delight's not retiring, thank goodness. And so I'm using the next size banner. It's just one, I guess, size up the one that I just die cut out. So I'll punch that out. And then I'm done with my big shot and I'm going to use a couple of Stampin' Dimensionals to lift off the hello phrase From the Daffodil Delight layer underneath. Get it nice and centered so it looks like that. And then I'm going to flip it over and bring back in my snail adhesive and my card front and I'm going to adhere it on the front of my card bumped right up against the side of the card that opens up. And then, so I could call my card done, but I would like to use some baker's twine that I have 
almost used up. It's Whisper White. And what I'm going to do is leave it on the card that the, it, the Baker's Twine is wrapped around. And I'm going to wrap it twice around my card front, going inside the card. Oh, I'm not doing this very well, am I? All right, let's start this again. I'll hold that there, and I'm going to wrap it twice around, and then bring it back, and then cut it off, and then I'm going to tie a knot. I'm going to try and tie a knot. Difficult when you're watching and when I'm videoing, but we'll see if I can get it to be good. There we go, that's pretty good. All right, and then I'm going to just trim off the loose ends to complete my card. And there we go, I have a really cute little hello card that uses up some of my embellishments and some of my retiring designer series paper. Now, if you wanted something um, that would be a similar layout that would be for a birthday, I've done exactly the same card only this time I used the Bring On The Cake stamp set that's retiring and the Birthday Wishes stamp to create a birthday card. So, have a look at home at your phrases and your leftover designer series paper and use my card idea as a card map for you to try at home. For a complete listing of the supplies that I used to make this card and the cardstock layers, please hop on over to my blog www.nutsaboutstamping.com. While on my blog, make sure you're a customer newsletter. I have a newsletter coming out next week for those of you who love to scrapbook. And then the following week, I'll have one of my new annual catalog um, editions that show you a lot of project ideas using the new catalog products. You'll find out when my new catalog open house is if you live near the Raleigh, North Carolina area. I'd love for you to come on over and get a new annual catalog for free, or I'm happy to mail one to you if you live in the U.S. You can look through my blog for lots of other sample ideas to try at home, or you can ask me a question, or you can look at my Techniques Online Club, which is up and running now, and it's something that you won't want to miss. I'm Terry. I am nuts about stamping. See you next time. Bye for now.